Your testimony is one of the one of the greatest things that you have in this life. Or either it's one of the biggest curses. It's what you make of it. Amen? Now I'm going to tell you something. When you lose that, you'll spend the rest of your life after you get with, right with God trying to regain what you lost. Sure. Some of it you'll never get back. Amen. What do you mean by that, Richard? I'm saying that once you, you, you destroyed your testimony, you will have so hurt folks that have watched you that they'll never again have confidence in you and it won't only be you, but there'll be others that they'll never place their confidence again in because of what you allowed to happen with your testimony. Amen. And it's such an important thing. What you think about your family. I'm talking about your church family now. I'm not talking about... Uh, look, see if y'all can grasp this this morning. In the Myers family, I'm not talking about my son, Nathan, but I'm talking about in my relatives, in the Myers family, I don't know of one that's living for God other than me. Now, I know of some that's gone to Catholic churches, and I know some that's messed up in in Jehovah's Witness. I know some that's in primitive Baptist churches, but I know their lives, and I know why they're there, the particular reason why they happen to be there. I can't fellowship with them, Brother Lee. And I chose years ago, I chose which family was going to be my family. When I got right with God, Brother Jim, I chose that my family is going to be the family of God. Amen. 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 That unclean spirit will try to get you away from that. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's stand to your feet this morning with head down and eyes. You say, preacher, why are you on this mess? I, well, I don't know. I mean, you know. We just get ready to have Jubilee and, and all kinds of crazy things are already going on. And there's all kinds of spirits out there. And you're not exempt from any of them. Yeah. Amen. So as a pastor, I'm just, I'm just giving you a message of warning this morning. And I'm asking you a simple question. Are you smarter than Pete? And it's just playing softly this morning. All is over. Please keep in mind, friend, look, you're not so spiritual this morning that one of these unclean spirits can't get a hold of you. Don't ever think in your life that you've ever reached such an attainment with God that you're not ever going to have to deal with any of these things. Because you're not there.
modern day of technology. Next time you go off on vacation and you're, you know, that you, that unclean spirit's messing around with you and trying to get you to place in a compromising position publicly, don't use the, don't use me as a battlefront. Don't say, you know, well, what will my preacher think? Yeah. Because the unclean spirit's going to say, well, your preacher ain't around. He won't see you. First and foremost, it ought to bother you what God thinks. Amen. Amen. Here's, here's what I want you to understand. In this modern day of technology, when you step outside the privacy of your own home, you make sure that you protect yourself from that point to the time that you come back home and don't let yourself be put in any kind of compromising situation that you don't want the world to see. Amen. Amen. Because while you think that there may not be any eyes around anywhere, there may be somebody hid behind a tree with their cell phone and one picture go viral on the internet. Yep. And you won't want to show your face publicly ever again. Amen. Amen. Are y'all listening to me this morning? Amen. Amen. Your testimony is so vital and so, so important. Amen. I'll give you this as an illustration for the me and Mama was at the Biltmore Square Mall here. It's been several weeks ago now. And, and uh, I drunk a pot of coffee on an empty stomach. And so we go in the store and, I, and I'm asking for the bathroom. You know, I'm kind of like a little kid. And so she said, well, it's right down here. And, and she said, I'll just go to. And so over there, you know, you walk down that real long hall where there's nothing on both sides and you make the little corner there and there's the bathrooms. And So I went in, she went in, and I come out first. And, and I'm just, I don't know, the, the guy didn't see me. I, don't, I know I didn't blend in, I'm not a chameleon, but I just propped up in the corner, right there in the corner. And I'm just waiting on Mama. And this, this young man, he is so... Just so engrossed with his girlfriend when they come around the corner from the bathroom, he doesn't see me and she doesn't see me, and they're, you know, they're they're all locked together. And they get about four steps in front of me, Brother Lee. And that young man takes his arm down, he's had it around her shoulder, and he takes it down and he gropes her real good. And I go, hmm. Hello. And for the first time, they knew somebody was there. He never turned around. And she turned around. And her face looked like that. That's it. She learned how to blush, didn't she? <laughs> you see, somebody's always around. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you think they're not. Amen. That's an eye watching you. And when she turned back around, she pushed him over away, and I couldn't hear, but she, boy, she was giving him an earful as they kept walking on. And what did you do? I couldn't help myself. I mean, after she started chilling him out, I just stepped around the corner where they couldn't see me before Mama come out of the bathroom, and I hee hawed. I mean, just, you know, what, what else was I supposed to do? But I'm telling you, somebody's always watching. Sure. Because God's always watching. Yeah. Brother Jim, you just mentioned some really great. Father God, we thank you for the message this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the morning we received. Father, we want to thank myself for being smarter than that's okay. Lord God, sometimes we're not. Sometimes we go out and these evil spirits come upon us, Lord God, and, and we're tempted. Father, we just ask that you just be in our soul and our hearts. When these 
temptations come and help us, Lord God, to play them, play the temptations that come upon us, Lord God, and help us to keep our testimony. Realize, Lord God, how important it is, and that it's a testimony that I've lived in your name up in glory, and how we live today, Lord God, we just ask you to make it important to us, even important and a lot more important than life itself. Father, we just ask you to go with us, guide us, and teach us. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 All right, y'all.